you know that bacon that's like maple? It's got maple flavor. The maple kind, yeah. You know, they're just burned into our collective memory, aren't they? Charlie bit my finger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Chances are those have popped up in your inbox or your friends' Facebook profiles over the past decade. Yes, decade. Today marks 10 years since that very first YouTube video we showed you earlier this hour. It was posted 10 years since the site encouraged users to broadcast themselves. YouTube's changed how we broadcast news. It has revolutionized how videos are seen, how stories are told. And Natasha's here, we've been having uh, some really interesting time this morning looking at the different ways YouTube has changed our lives. And the breadth has been quite extraordinary. Focus on politics this time. Well, we've certainly seen it take a huge grip in the campaigns in the United States in particular. So the Pew Research Center found that they, I don't know how they did it, but they combed through hours and hours of YouTube video, and they believe that about 21% of the footage on YouTube is actually political in some capacity wow. through organized political campaigns. So we're talking about a significant amount of footage out there there and politicians, campaigners. We know from just a few days ago, Hillary Clinton launched her campaign for a uh, Democratic candidate for presidency on YouTube. I was working that day. You know, we were all staring at her Twitter account, all staring at the YouTube account, saying, when is that thing going to launch? And so it did. So it shows you the capacity within two minutes of a video to put your message out there, your imaging out there, what is going to be her mandate for months ahead. So it's really powerful in that sense. And she's not the first person to to do this. We actually saw that YouTube was the launching pad for Barack Obama back in 2007. He made this speech that, you know, at that time he was relatively unknown back then, but there was this moment that clearly captured Americans' imagination because it was posted on YouTube. And that particular speech was, Our moment is now. So let's have a listen to how that speech went. America, our moment is now. I don't want to spend the next year or the next four years refighting the same fights that we had in the 1990s. I don't want to pit red America against blue America. I want to be the president of the United States of America. So you see there that manipulation of the video, probably just an ordinary speech, but you put in that dramatic music, you gloss it up a bit, and on YouTube, he becomes a superstar, goes on to become the president of the United States. But you know, it was YouTube that almost brought down his campaign, because you might remember there was a reverend, uh, Jeremiah Wright, sure. who represented a church in the US, but and uh, Barack Obama, that. there we've got the footage of it, Barack Obama Goodness. attended his sermons at times, and he made what many people describe to be very anti-American sentiments in some of some of his sermons. So then Barack Obama became accountable for that. And it's not the only time that YouTube and what might be described as um, negative footage that's been posted on YouTube is used against political foes. So we see how it's manipulated in this way. 2016 looming and you can bet it'll be a tool and a, a strategy again. Uh, listen, coming to the end of our time together. So let's spend some of the some time on the fun because there's no doubt people have become very famous. Mm -hmm. People have become very wealthy by posting their videos because they go viral. We remember them. So play some of the fun favorites. Absolutely. So what we have is you cannot talk about YouTube without talking about cat videos. I think 10 years ago, <laughs> nobody had any sense of how much we would just enjoy staring at cats doing very ordinary things. But you think about grumpy cat, you know, that cute cat. It's actually yes. a girl. Uh, she has her own agent now because of these YouTube videos. She has a movie contract that's in the works. So there's a Japanese cat called Maru. Hundreds of videos related to Maru. A book deal. There's Maru there. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's it's so adorable. You can't help but look at it. And, you know, there's also so many music uh, compilations that are put out on YouTube. So let's have a look at Taylor Swift and a very unique duet that she put together. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Shame on me now. You me to places I've never been. Now I'm lying on the cold heart. things like that just really good fun random on goat random goat in a major pop song but then you, there's just social trends that would not exist had it not been for youtube so True. i think i'll leave you with one of the big ones which okay. is harlem shake have a listen <laughs> Do the 
volume shit.